Why, hello there. I'm Maris, and this is Europa. I do want to thank the devs for giving me a copy of this to take a look at. This game is a beautiful game. So this is for my sketchbook? Okay. Um, if you were to take, I would say, Laputa, which is Castle in the Sky by Studio Ghibli, um, you would get this game. It's been beautiful so far. Now, I'm early in the game because this is only about a four to five hour game. Um, it is linear in the fact that it's not necessarily open world. A lot of the areas, you can explore them, but there's a definite like in and out to move on to the next area. Um, so what we're doing is, can I even see it from here? I cannot. Let me get to a... This is called the Ancient Battlefield. Now, technology has taken on a life of its own type thing. And uh, we're on Europa. One of the lovely moons of Jupiter. I know you have a lot of questions, most of which can't be answered in this notebook. There's a chance you're angry, or that you'll get angry one day when you're older. Europa is unbelievable, but it's not finished. We're trying to build something better than what we left behind. That will take time. Generations, even. That is why I'm sending you ahead. Okay. So this was a terraforming project, obviously. And up there it is. We're trying to get up to that island. That's essentially the goal. Um, now, some of the terraforming went well, some of it didn't. Uh, the almost like, think of like Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, the mechanisms and the AI and the robots and things like that started to take on um, a life of its own. So as you can see, those aren't insects, those are robots. But like, it's it's more like the journals and things like that, like your dad type thing, I guess you could say his, um, it's more of like a wonderment feeling. It's not necessarily like a bad feeling regarding what happened or anything. It's a lot of you know, it's exciting to see what happened. Things are gonna get even better. Let's see, I gotta get up there. So we have a, a limited amount right now. Whoops, whoops. So you can see we've got a beautiful environment, but you can definitely tell that there's an exit, which is over there to where we're gonna go. So really beautiful artwork. The soundtrack's been beautiful in this game too. The controls are super easy. You're easy, either using your mouse, the space board, or WSAD. Super simple, no combat, no nothing like that. It's just exploration, finding information about what happened. Um, why are these, why? Did, like the humans go out you know what happened there, there's there's quite a bit going on but in a pleasant manner Let's 
so we're also kind of looking for emeralds here. And sometimes they're in odd places. I think I hear one. This one up here. No, I'm surprised. See, that would be... See how I'm getting pushed back? There it is. It's up there. Okay. see any other possible places emeralds could be. It's called a wisp. The deer are some of the only um, actual, like, organic life left on this. As I'm writing this, most of the human race are still asleep on the island. In a few years' time, you're going to join them. I'll stay back here and work, so that when you wake up, you'll wake up somewhere better. I don't know exactly what the world will look like. All I know is that people on the homeworld made the mistake of not thinking past tomorrow. By sending you ahead, I'm staking my heart on the future. So cute. Good, right? Yep. All right. All right, 
so that's the two. Let's come over here. The greatest pleasure in my life is watching you watch the world. New faces, passing ships, whatever new sight catches your attention. You drink everything in like you're hungry for it. You also spend a lot of time putting things in your mouth which are not food. Another kind of intellectual curiosity, I suppose. No, ain't that the truth. top of that and oh, another turret. No, no. Get up, get up. Thank you. 
jelly. A little too dangerous. The motion in this game is great, how easily you can just string stuff together. Again, it's mainly WSAD, your mouse keys, and the space bar, and that's it. That's good. Like I said, it's incredibly easy to just like move around and glide. They've made it so, so darn easy. There's so much I want to tell you. So much to teach, but at the same time, I don't want to smother your innate desire to learn things yourself. Civilizations collapse when we stop letting children ask questions. If Europa is going to survive, we'll need to raise a generation who are not just curiously determined, but determinedly curious. I hope you can grow up that way, my son. Everything a child deserves. That's what I want for you. The greatest pleasure in my life is watching you watch the world. There's, there's so much I want to tell you. So much to teach. Well, this is a perfect spot to leave this here. Now you need to go pick this up and play this. Trust me, it's a joy. A lot of fun. Poignant story, but the gameplay, and like, again, look at these beautiful vistas. 
nothing crazy, nothing anxiety inducing or anything, just exploration and like joy. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later. Bye bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to GamerQuest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.